Edible bird. S nests are bird nests created by edible nest swiftlets, Indian swiftlets, and other swiftlets using solidified saliva, which are harvested for human consumption. They are particularly prized in Chinese culture due to their rarity, supposedly high nutritional value, and flavor. Edible bird. S nests are among the most expensive animal products consumed by humans, with nests being sold at prices up to about $3,000 per pound, depending on grading. The type or grading of a bird's nest depends on the type of bird as well as the shape and color of the bird's nest. It is usually white in color, but there also exists a red version, sometimes called blood nest. The Chinese believe that it promotes good health, especially for the skin. The nests have been used in Chinese cooking for over 400 years, most often as bird's nest soup. Etymology The Chinese name for edible bird's nest, yanwo yanwo, translates literally as swallow s or swift s nest, in Indonesia called sarong burring wale, and often serves as a synonym for bird. S nest soup. However, yanwo yanwo, strictly speaking, is the uncooked nest. Culinary use The best known use of edible bird's nest is bird's nest soup, a delicacy in Chinese cuisine. When dissolved in water, the bird's nests have a gelatinous texture used for soup or sweet soup tong sui. It is mostly referred to as yanwo, yanwo, unless references are made to the savory or sweet soup in Chinese cuisine. According to the Qing Dynasty Manual of Gastronomy, the Suiwan Shidan, bird's nest was regarded as a delicate ingredient not to be flavored or cooked with anything overpowering or oily. And while it is precious, it must also be served in relatively large quantities, otherwise, its texture cannot be fully experienced and enjoyed. In addition to their use in soup, edible bird's nests can be used as an ingredient in other dishes. They can be cooked with rice to produce bird's nest congee or bird's nest boiled rice, or they can be added to egg tarts and other desserts. A bird S nest jelly can be made by placing the bird's nest in a ceramic container with minimal water and sugar, or salt, and double steamed. Ready to eat bird's nest jelly is available in jars as a commercial product. Production and harvest The most heavily harvested nests are from the edible nest swiftlet or white nest swiftlet Eridramus and the black nest swiftlet Eridramus maximus. The nests are supposedly rich in nutrients, which are traditionally believed to provide health benefits. Most nests are built during the breeding season by the male swiftlet over a period of 35 days. They take the shape of a shallow cup stuck to the cave wall. The nests are composed of interwoven strands of salivary cement. Both nests have high levels of calcium, iron, potassium, and magnesium. The nests were formerly harvested from caves, principally the enormous limestone caves at Gomantong and Niya in Borneo. With the escalation in demand these sources have been supplanted since the late 1990s by purpose-built nesting houses, usually reinforced concrete structures following the design of the Southeast Asian shop house. Ruma Toko. Ruko. These nesting houses are normally found in urban areas near the sea, since the birds have a propensity to flock in such places. It has become an expanding industry as is evident in such places as the province of North Sumatra or the Pak Penang district in Thailand. From those places the nests are mostly exported to the markets in Hong Kong, which has become the center of the world trade, valued at around $2 billion per year, although most of the final consumers are from mainland China. China is the world. S largest consumer of birds. Nests, accounting for more than 90% of consumption. Market Indonesia is the largest bird. S nest producer in Southeast Asia, exporting around 2,000 tons per year, followed by Malaysia at 600 tons, and Thailand, 400 tons. The Philippines, around 5 tons per year, is the smallest producer. It has been estimated that the bird's nest industry now accounts for 0.5% of the Indonesian GDP, equivalent to about a quarter of the country. 
S fishing industry. In Thailand, the trade value of bird's nests, both wild and farmed, is estimated at around 10 billion baht per year. The industry globally is an estimated $5 billion. Hong Kong and the United States are the largest importers of nests. In Hong Kong, a bowl of bird's nest soup would cost $30 to $100. Counterfeiting A kilogram of white bird's nest can fetch up to $2,000, and a kilogram of red nests up to $10,000. The white nests can be treated with red pigment to defraud buyers, but methods have been developed to determine an adulterated nest. Natural red cave nests are often found in limestone caves in Pak Phaian District, Thailand. The high returns and growing demand has attracted counterfeiters, leading to the halt of Malaysian nest exports to China. The Malaysian government has since employed RFID technology to thwart counterfeiting by micro-chipping nests with details about harvesting, packaging, and transport. Industrial quality control techniques such as failure mode and effects analysis have been applied to bird's nest processing at nesting houses in Sarawak, Malaysia and reported by a research team at University Malaysia Sarawak. Import restrictions Because a bird's nest is an animal product, it is subject to strict import restrictions in some countries, particularly with regard to H5N1 avian flu. Import of nests into Australia is strictly prohibited unless imported with an official customs and quarantine import permit from the Australian Department of Agriculture. In Canada, commercially prepared, canned, and sterile birds' nest preparations are generally acceptable, but may be subject to restrictions. See also Traditional Chinese medicine, List of Chinese soups List of delicacies List of soups References Bibliography Jordan, David, 2004. Globalization and Bird's Nest Soup. International Development Planning Review. Liverpool University Press. 26 1. Archived from the original on 21 October 2008. Lau, Amy S. M., Melville, David S. April 1994. International Trade in Swiftlet Nests with Special Reference to Hong Kong. Traffic Network. ISBN 1-85850-030-3. Zhang, Xian Hauer, Tay, Kai Meng, Lim, Chi Peng, August 2013. Application of the Fuzzy Failure Mode and Effect Analysis Methodology to Edible Bird Nest Processing. Computers and Electronics in Agriculture, 96 to 90 minus 108. DOI 10.1016/j.compag.2013.04.015. Tay, Kai Meng, Zhang, Qian Hauer, Lim, Qi Peng, April 2015. A clustering-based failure mode and effect analysis model and its application to the edible bird nest industry. Neural Computing and Applications, 26 to 551 minus 560. DOI 10.1007 per seconds 00521-014-1647-4. Chong, W. U. I. Li, Tay, Kai Meng, Lim, Chi Peng, November 2015. Clustering and Visualization of Failure Modes Using an Evolving Tree. Expert Systems with Applications, 42 to 7235 minus 7244. doi 10.1016.j.eswa.2015.04.036. Chai, Kok Chin, Zhang, Qian Hauer, Tay, Kai Meng, Lim, Qi Peng, August 2016. A perceptual computing-based method to prioritize failure modes in failure mode and effect analysis and its application to edible bird nest farming. Applied Soft Computing, 49 734-747. 
doi 10.1016 j.asoc.2016.08.043 Further reading Jandam, Kasem, April 2017. Ethnicity and Birds Nest Resources in Southeast Asia. Thailand Research Fund, TRF. ISBN 978-616-7474-53-3. Retrieved 12 October 2018. External links Media related to Edible Birds Nest at Wikimedia Commons